Hello, 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 viewers. Good evening, everyone from all over the world, across the globe, from wherever you are watching me from. Good evening, uh, the chairman and every department of this organization, and uh, able and useful viewers. As usual, for those of you that know me, I am Mrs. Olushela, and I'm streaming live from. Uh, one of our offices at 93 Allen Avenue, UK. We want to quickly discuss this very topic. What is your role as a wife? Your role as a wife at one. Uh, is a topic that is going to, we're going to go deeper and deeper and deeper because I've come to realize uh, so many mistakes of ours as women, ladies, girls in the marriage that have caused so many atrocity damages to our marriages, and we we hardly we hardly uh, cast blame on ourselves. But we usually uh, feel it's the devil, it's our family members, it's our those that never wanted to settle the marriage. Either the fault is from one like Mr. A or B, our ex, and all that. But I want us to discuss this because time will come that we are going to put up the call lines, not really today, that we need to discuss role of a wife. Your role, your duties as a wife. First and foremost, let's have a brief definition of wife that depends on how you see it. He said that uh, a wife is a married woman considered in relation mm -hmm. to her spouse. That is one definition. A wife is a female in a marital relationship. A woman who has separated from her partner continues to be a wife until the marriage is legally dissolved with a divorce judgment on the death of her partner. A wife is referred to as a well. I don't understand this kind of phrase. This is like saying a wife is a widow. A married woman, especially when considered in relation in relation to a partner in marriage, uh, there is one definition that I want actually wants to bring up. Okay, Anna says the wife is a better half, um, is a partner, is a mate, a spouse, and all that. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Yeah, I can see your greetings. But let's quickly talk about this because this is really, really important in our relationship. You are a wife, and from this definition, you are a better half. You are married, you are a partner, you are a mate, and name your spouse. Spouse meaning you you have you are someone's partner, right? Good. Your duty, your role as a woman in the life of a man, as a married woman, what are your roles? What are your duties? What are the perceptions you have before getting married? What are your reasons? before you settle the marriage, before you accept the proposal of a man, that yes, would you marry me? They say, yes, I do. You first have to accept the person's proposal in the secret between yourself and the person before you introduce the same person to your family, before you make a step into a relationship, courtship that leads to marriage. What is your ideology about marriage? What have you, as a single lady, have you for once sat down, analyzed how, how and your role you should play in the life of a man, in the life of your partner, in your marriage? Have you sat in a day and begin to practice that, okay, uh, at 25, 26, 30, 35, these are the things. Once I become 25, at least I must have graduated from the university, I must have served as 28, I should be working 
at 29 30 and you should be planning having a partner because if you are in school probably say, uh, university once you're in your university or once you are from 20 and above you are expected to have friends as in opposite friends that you convert, you convert with you discuss with and you interact with no necessary sexual relationship then as you progress in life 25 26 upwards you should be asked who are you having as a partner in your life or do you have a fiance who is your friend at that point your parents should ask you if at all you have not presented anybody before them i have a friend this is my male friend or this is my fiance and all that and all that you should be asked because in most cases parents don't even ask uh present parents don't even worry their kids their girl child their daughter if they if they are actually in relationship when they are due to be in relationship especially those that are not even financially okay they don't ask that rather they hope believing the girl to have relationship outside bringing money not that the girl is presenting this past to them to settle the marriage your role as a woman as a housewife you have to you must define it you must know your duty you must know your role you should play as a wife often time women have made it made themselves understand that because you are called a partner in the marriage meaning yourself and the man have equal rights that whatsoever that is sustainable whatsoever duty you are engaged in your marriage your man or your spouse is expected to be engaged in such uh, uh duties because you called yourself partner get this right this is not business partner partner in the sense that you are a companion of that person the man or the woman you are this person's companion not equal partner as a business partner that this person a man should have the same duties you are engaging or a woman should have the same duty you are engaged in most of our ladies today we failed in our responsibilities and is the reason of the high rate of divorce we are having today in our society we hardly understand neither in our present life we hardly bring the reality to table all we discuss these days is rights our rights gender equality our rights women rights women empowerment there and there and there and there and oftentimes most of ladies most of us mis misinterpret this right of the team I've come to realize when I interviewed some of some ladies when they have issues in their man uh, uh, in their marriage, which is bound to happen. I don't have issues in my marriage. I'm not exception. Our parents do have issues in their marriage, but how did they tackle the issues? How did they handle their marriages? What are their responsibilities? What are their duties they take up? as a married woman were you told by your parents by your grandparents mostly mothers i believe recent days or often the this present times most women hardly listen we hardly take advices from our parents due to what or how they are being maltreated it could be that some of them were married to husband that were actually maltreating them beating them brutalizing them for one mistake or the other, which we are not ready to take. I am not ready for any man to beat me up with koboko, with stick, with anything, because you want me, you want my submission. And there are diverse ways you can actually make a woman uh, submit to you as a, as a man, neither as a married man.
as well. Women believe these days, most women, and the reason why most marriages are break up are breaking up these days, one, we have three phases. Women that know their rights too much, that they are not ready for whatever reason to surrender, neither to calm down, outside with the pretty law, their rights in their marriage. I cannot do that. You are working, I am working. You can't excuse me. You can't just ask me to excuse myself of, it, of my duty or of my work because I want to take care of the kids. It is my right to work as a wife. It is your right to work as a man. And once you begin to interpret all those rights without understanding, without the definition of your duty as a wife, as a husband, you are bound to make a mistake and the marriage will head way to wrong. Two, dependent and redundant housewife. There are other sets of women. They are not working class ladies that actually know their rights, that want to interpret their rights, that want to exercise their rights at every given time in the house. That they have to write a, a, a role, a timetable of when to have sex, because you call it education, you call it civilization. Yes, today we're having sex. On Fridays, we're not going to have sex because I'm working, you are working. On Monday, we're not going to have sex because the kids have to go to school, you're working, I'm working. So you have a roster when you have sex because you know your right as a woman. That the man is not just to wake up, the man is, cannot just walk into you and begin to act for sex. It should take this sex when you are available, when your urge is available, when your, uh, your feeling is available. And does that work out? Does that suit the marriage? Does it work out for every other person? That cannot that cannot actually write out the roster. Your answer, I believe, is absolutely no. Then some ladies from the listing in your kitchen, the list from the top of the things you need in your kitchen: bag of rice, yam, red oil, crayfish, fish, down to maggi and salt is provided by your husband. Oh, honey, the rice has finished. Oh, honey, the yam has finished. Oh, honey, uh, we just when I wanted to cook at this point, there's no red oil in the house. Oh, honey, there is no salt in the house. If you are giving list, you give list from bag of rice, yam, uh, sugar, everything, down to salt that you can you can buy it with 100 naira. What is your duty, your role as a housewife? What is your important? You are a supporter, you are a helper. Are you just helping by coming to bring for children, bathe the children, feed the children, cook and feed the children, clothe yourself, lie down, wake up, sex, bring forth other children? Is that your duty? Have you considered your importance in the house, in the family, in the marriage, in the life of that man you are in? Have you considered that is this your duty? That if your husband is not properly dressed, that is your responsibility to teach the man, to guide the man, to watch over the man how he dresses. Have you considered that it is your responsibility that if the man don't have good haircuts, it is your responsibility to watch out and also correct and tell the man, this, this is the kind of haircut that is nice on you. Do you play such duty, such role in your house? As a woman that demands for everything, from the top to the least item you need, even in your kitchen, have you considered that it's also your duty 
that out of what the man has given to you, as a wife that you know how to manage, how to minimize, how to manage economically, that you are to save out of that little and also contribute to your own person in your marriage, even no matter the level of the finance, financial stability or capability of your husband. Have you considered that if the man is out getting you, giving you gifts at all times, that time comes that the man is also expecting you to return, to pay back a return? Have you considered that the school fees of the kids that you made this man running haters, haters that they have to borrow? We're not talking about those that are very rich. If your husband is rich, and as far as he is not starving you, he's providing, supporting in his own living way, neither place you on allowances. From your allowances, you are supposed to be saving and also contribute to us, assist the man in one way or the other. Most women don't know their duties. You don't know your roles. We hardly know what our roles in the marriage. We always think because he's the husband, the husband should be responsible for everything. The husband should be responsible for us. Right. He should be responsible for feeding. He should be responsible for your clothing. He should be responsible for your pants, your undies, your sanitary, the, the beverages, for yourself and everything. You are just redundant. You are just dear. Most of you, some of you are big, have give, been giving money money as in the, your husband cannot save with you you cannot be trusted to be saved to save any not even a dime with we have seen a situation where man let me tell you because you may think a man has to give you millions before you start up saving or assisting then you are not wise how do you convince a man that he need to sit, that he need to give, that he need to trust and invest in your hands. It's by your own lifestyle. Some of you buy what you want. You don't buy what you need. You can go to the market, you will buy uh, uh, green hair, you will buy blue hair, you will buy red hair, you will buy brown hair, all manners of hair that you don't really need. What you actually need, you will not buy. You keep on buying what? You can actually save and present before your husband. I've been able to save 200,000, 100,000, 1 million. 500,000 out of the little you have been given to me for feeding. At least you have, you have been fed and out of what you are saving, one naira, two naira, if you can't save, if you if you are giving one billion, you can never save. If you can't save out of, out of 1,000, you can never save even if you are giving one billion. That is it. When you can plan what to save, what to spend and what is necessary then you'll be counted as one of the person that should be trusted with money when you wake up you lie in your house what you call your husband and messages to send your to your husband on daily basis is the kind of clothes that they have showcased the kind of clothes what is raining what they have posted you go to gg you go to Alibaba and all that. The baby, I saw this thing. Ah, there's one girl that just came out now and they match it with handbag and shoe. And that is what you discussed with the man. Ah, there are children's schools and whatever, whatever that you needed money. 
you have not been able to save a dime and surprise your husband out of two kids that is paying their school fees you were able to save one of the child's school fees and you went and paid for the next 10 and surprise they have paid for junior have paid for elizabeth have paid for social person really how did the money go? i was saving i decided to save out of my allowance i decided to save out of the mini business some of you will watch social media you can watch everybody you will have to watch mr johnson you will watch uh name them bless the ceo you will watch us you will watch this the whole mb you will buy you will get five thousand mb you will finish it you can't make use of your phone android phone that you can still sit in your comfort zone and make money out of it you will spend that five thousand using android phone to just chat make whatsapp nothing whereas what you are buying online from the person that you are squandering your your husband's money you can actually sit in your house and trade with it you don't need even you don't need to open a big supermarket neither a, a boutique to sell clothes those that sell it to you online you can actually sell other things online and you make money the average women my husband did not do this my husband i have not admit my head at times when i, I listen to some of you yes when you have a caring husband that gives that supports don't take advantage of that without doing nothing because you cannot define tomorrow something good or bad may happen to the man what to become your faith because you are just independent sitting at home eat have kids gossip being on whatsapp from morning till night being on social media what you know the name of every musician they can't even sing before you give up the lyrics you watch Telemundo until that soup get burnt. You will stick to Z words until that soup gets burnt. You'll be boiling rice. Somebody said, my husband beat me because I was watching one program and the soup got burnt. And you don't see anything wrong with that. And it's your mates that are actually doing, uh, uh, playing such roles that you are watching that your soup that have to get bonds for what is the word what is your role as a housewife as a wife not let's keep housewife what is your role as a wife you should be supportive when it comes to prayer back up it is your duty that you pray and support your husband progress life protection and everything it is your duty so if you support the man financially as well, in your own little you can afford, that is widow's minds. You are not expected, you can give support in the little avenue. If your money you have saved or whatever you have saved from your, from your single life, from your parents or whoever, you should be able, you should be able to have a savings. When, we are when I was schooling, we still have savings as a student so you cannot just walk into a marriage empty because you are expecting once you are married a man inherit you for that reason all your responsibilities should be on him his own responsibility and his family should be on him your responsibility should be on him the kids should be on him be useful be useful make yourself useful some of us are not just useful some of us women are not just useful we make ourselves non-useful wives i wish you a part of the reasons we're having issues today some other person may come to post social media and counter what i'm saying because you want to believe and live on social media life yes a married woman will walk up to you and tell you what you are taking. I cannot take it. 
what your husband is doing to you i can't take it yes she may not she may of course it's possible she cannot take it but if you can be the faith if you have the absorber because the absorber of everybody is different the same way the shock absorber of vehicles differs the absorber of every human being differs that is why you have some people that are so patient you have some women that have patience you have those that are not patient at all and you have those that are just quick to temper that they can always react every given time your duty as a woman your role as a woman have your husband dressed if he dresses well if what is wearing defeats him, it is your duty Are you this kind of woman that the only thing you know how to cook as a Yoruba woman is a widow and a pussy? That you feel after all, I'm a Yoruba and I'm married to a Yoruba person. For that reason, you should not exploit. You should, you should not learn how to cook any other tribe as well. What you know how to cook based what you were taught by your parents, your grandparents is how to prepare a widow and a pussy. How to turn a mala and how to turn a bar. How to boil yam and how to cook indomie. My dear, your way of cooking indomie. Do you know it, it differs from other ways of cooking? Some other person will prepare indomie. In fact, you'll be salivating before you eat it. It's also indomie. While some will cook indomie, indomie will cake. And you'll be wondering, is it to say somebody cooked indomie? I can remember someone cooked indomie one day, and my husband looked at the indomie and asked, Is this how <laughs> oh, it's funny? Is this how indomie, the advert of indomie you are watching on uh, B board television and all that? Is it how this advert, is it how the indomie look like when the advert of indomie you have been watching? Because the indomie was just, in fact, it was as in, I can't just explain it. So if as a woman, as a wife, you cannot exploit, you can't add value to yourself, you can't add value to your knowledge, whatever you know from your parents is what you stick on. The man cannot complain if and you know. Men these days don't stick to what they eat from their parents neither what they need knows from their parents they eat diverse vast things varieties and there is nobody including kids there is nobody that will not be enticed with varieties so as a housewife have you sat yourself without asking the man or without going to a a, 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 a restaurant out there to buy soup and store in your freezer because your husband likes bitter leaves. And every time he wants to eat bitter leaves, so a mama kitchen restaurant, you don't find that comfortable. Did you wake up and on your own without asking the man, give me money, I want to go to catering school. I want to go and learn how to cook different kinds of soup. Do you need catering school? Your Android phones that you stick on watching on manners on daily basis, actually teach you how to cook social media has made so many things easy you like good things you learn bad things it is your choice as an adult that is why it's specifically made for people from 18 years and above so that you are, kids are not expected to be on social media educate yourself positively from social media Stop learning on how to betray your spouse on social media. Stop, uh, in fact, stop in any way learning on how to. There are some certain words I wouldn't want to, I mean, release on, social, on, on, on the public. But so many of you, of us, have done that. You have no secrets. 
any little misunderstanding in your house, the next neighbor must hear it. Your sister must be aware of it. Your mother must be aware of it. Your extended family must be aware of it. If I should ask you when you were growing up, how many cases of your siblings and your parents did you settle when you were growing up? They were patient enough. They were patient enough to tolerate the essence of their spouse. Your duty as a woman shouldn't be going to kitchen alone and cook food. Do you do sex exploitation? Or you feel if you are married to a pastor, to a reverend, which is not a reverend father, you are not married to a kid, you are not married to a minor, this person has already become an adult, both of you, before you settle that in marriage. Do you just lie down and in what you need, what you want, where you want to have an affair, sex with your husband, is to just lie down, throw yourself and have the sex and get her because you need a baby? Have you ever done sex exploitation? It is your duty as a wife. Also, is part of your duty. Do you consider how you look? How you look after the work of the days, after cooking? You know, most of you, you'll be complaining. Uh, you tell me um, uh, you are smelly, you can't, you are not, you are dirty, you cannot. Some of you, you can't even buy. I have seen so many women that some of them will come to the office, they will pollute the whole, the whole office. Smelly. You can, in Lagos, I believe, there is no other place that clothes is as cheap as Lagos. There is no other state in Nigeria that clothes is as cheap as Lagos. They come to body spray. The ones who buy to share out, maybe when we are going out for outreach and all that. You cannot afford common roll up, roll up. Even if the man is giving you, or, or some of you claim the man gives you 1,000 naira every day for feeding. You, if you save 50, 50 naira out of the 1,000 for 10 days, you have 500 naira. And even less, you can get roll up less than 500 naira, and you can still smell that. You carry her for three months. You can't wash. If you did not go to salon, can't you go to the, to the bedroom, wash your hair with your hand, wash it, dry it, and let it be that the hair have no heat odor. You don't do that. It is your duty, your role to be clean. Some of you will cook after pounding, after cutting onions, pound uh, what is it called? A wedu and everything, a busi, turn all the manners, cook up. Cook, cook. You know, when you are cooking this in the uh, in the kitchen, there is every tendency if you are not using a kitchen cup and all that, and uh, if you don't use uh, anything to cover your hair, your hair always takes the odor, odor of all this fish, or cook, cook, meat and all that. As you steam them, the others comes out as the steam as the vapor comes out from your pot. They stick to your body, to your clothes, and, and, and to your hair. The apron you use when you are cooking, just smell it if you take it off. And you claim you are too tired. To shower, you can't shower. That is the same way you take yourself, you eat your, probably you eat a, uh, you cook a goose, or you cook a, a dress soup, or you cook vegetable, or you cook on her, or you cook a, a, a white soup that you have used or grit to cook or anything. After cooking and smelling and all that, that is how your mouth, your hand will be smelling the goose and the soup that you eat straight to bed. Banga. Throw yourself on bed, you are tired. Your husband cannot have a better 
scent, a better body scent for you. Because your hair is sick. Your hair has already taken the order of Okoroko and uh, Busi and everything on your head. The body that you're carrying is already sticky because from the kitchen sweat and everything. And probably maybe your kitchen does not have the structure, the smoke and everything also come to your body. Then you go back and back. You're smelling the bed, the bed side and all that, stick with skit and all, and all that. Would you expect a man to just look at it? Oh, God. They said the old is high and all that. But if a man is nice enough and is bold enough, we we'll encourage you, my dear. Go and take, go and shower. Flatter, just try to shower. Before you go to bed, dear wives, dear gender, co-gender, please learn to clean up. Clean up and try to put a little body fragrance on your body. That may draw your husband close to you that he can come to you if it's not the time of prayer. If it's not fasting, if it's fasting, that doesn't mean you should not and as he could the wife and lying down. But you feel it is not your duty. Your duty is your role is to have children, bake the children, let them eat, go to bed, and throw yourself on the bed. From the beginning of the year to the end of the year, as a wife, what did you say? Which avenue did you contribute to the life of your husband? Ask yourself. Yes, January this year, 2022, till uh, this year is ending December 25th or December 30th, 2022. This is what I have said. If you cannot manage from your allowance, you will never manage. You can't manage anything. If you can't manage the little resources that is coming to your hand, you can never manage anything. It, you did not need, you did not require billions to manage. You, you require brain, sense, wisdom to learn how to start managing from one cobo save from two cobalt, save from three cobalt, at the end of the day, you have a plus. But average women, you only know, if they ask you, what can you buy today? What can you buy within a trickle of an eye? You can, you can count one million, one million items that you can buy. Okay, how much can you save? How do you save? 10,000 naira in a year. Most of you can have no answer. Then you can spend that. You know how to ask. You know how to demand. Then you don't know how to say. Learn to say. Learn how to say. As a full housewife, there is nothing that says you should not save. Service is, is very, very important. Very, very necessary. So learn to save from that cobra that is coming to you. Learn to save. If you say at least we still have 15 naira as part of our you know, uh, currencies in Nigeria. So instead of you not to save at all, you can be saving 15 naira by save. Instead of you not to save at all, you can be saving 100 naira by save. Something must be saved. So if you are giving 1,000 Naira, you can't say because you did not use 100 Naira to come. You, do not, you, you take 100 Naira out of the 1,000 Naira, you can't buy. No, you should economize. Economize and cook with 900 Naira and save 100 Naira. I don't just understand. You want to have shaki in your soup. You want to have beef, red meat in your soup. You want to have uh, a what? You want to have fish in your soup. You still want to have crayfish in your soup, right? This item. Do you know you can have all this in your soup and you don't need to spend 5,000 Ah, mala, 
Give me 2,000 Naira shaki. Give me 3,000 Naira beef. Uh, fish, 1,000. Give me uh, crayfish. Give me crayfish, 500 Naira. Because you want to live big. You want to live big. If you want shaki and you want all this thing in your soul, you can still buy shaki. Even in the market, go there and tell them, give me shaki. Cut it 100 Naira. Give me shaki five hundred naira. Depends on some of you that are big. Give me three thousand naira, five thousand naira, and you say she gave me five thousand naira, and he expected all shaki meat and fish to be in. It. Yes, less you can have less than five thousand naira. Not this will be there. If you have five hundred naira shaki or two hundred naira shaki, four that is four pieces. If you ask them to cut it for hundred hundred, if you decided to have five hundred naira meat. Plus, they can't eat if you cut it to 15 and cut it 100 naira, however you want them to cut If they cut it, you come back. If you want to cut it, you cut it, you cut it. There are panda fish in the market. There are catfish, small fish in the market. There are uh, um, uh, what is it? Has, uh, fish in the market. There are shower fish in the market. If you are the type that like mangara, go back and go and be buying shower and kote or any other fish at least fish is in your soup oju kokoro if you see somebody that is any 200,000 as a salary or you meet the government worker that is having support from wherever he or she is working from and the person is living probably the wife is your friend and you see the way they eat soup in your you want to be compared to be eating that kind of soup in your house Whereas your income is not to be a standard. Live according to your income. Don't live with according to somebody's. Don't compare yourself to anybody. Compare yourself with nobody. If you need fish, there is panda fish in the market, there is shower fish in the market, there is a, a black fish in the market, there is also a, 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 name the mangara fish in the market. If you want to buy mangara, one mangara alone, some is 500 naira. Some is 1,000. But one, and if you want to buy kote or shower or panla, you may have three, 500 naira. And you may buy one, 200 naira. And there is already fish in your soup. You can still buy the same fish of 100 naira. And you have fish, crayfish, you have shaky, 200 naira, you have meat, 500 naira, and you can feed it. 1,000 naira, you have all this in, in your soup. Learn how to manage. Learn how to manage. It is your role, it is your duty as a wife to economize, not the husband. A woman is made to economize, a woman is created to build. A woman is created that if you go to her, so men have money, but it's the wives that manage because they have seen you as a manager. But when you are a squander, you are not a manager. It will be difficult for a man to give you his business to manage. He can't even give you little resources to keep because they know what they give to you. If you have been giving 200,000, you have clothes already that they are selling. 150,000. Then 50,000 is left. You'll be asking of what should you do with 50,000. You do your eyelashes 7,000. You have to put your nails 10,000. And you do this. You do makeup, uh, eyelashes, this and that. Then, then. And when you calculated all this, a man will be living with you under pressure under tension you must not live expensive to look good i've told most of you i've told several many of you you must not live expensive as in your clothes because if you are not up to that don't go i can't if i buy a wish somebody this someone gave me this as a gift if i go to the market i cannot use my money to buy it because of what? I have my choice, I have my taste, 
I have my standard. But if she sees me putting on this, she'll be a father, she'll be happy. As I'm putting it on, it does not bite my body. It does not pinch me. I am not feeling body ache that I wear it. It is a gift. But I know what I can afford on my own. And I know what I can afford that will not affect my savings. That cannot affect my resources. That cannot put my husband under pressure or tension. At times, I surprised my husband. Ah, he was spending, building this. I said, there's no money on me. I don't have money on this and that. Because I am saving, 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 saving. At the point, one, one needs you just come like this and say, boom. You say, what? How? Yes, because I am saving. And that is the reason why he wanted to do something that day. I said, no, don't do that because it does not require, it is not necessary. And he will listen to me because he know I am not advising him against his wish. I am giving a reasonable advice because he has seen the impact, the area in which I can advise and the advice pays. Your husband will listen to you when you advise him. When he actually knows that you know what you what you are saying, and you are not out of selfishness, but you are actually advising because your advice is reasonable. Some of you you only advise for your selfish interest. If you use the money to do this, if I ask money for this, he will say he doesn't have it. But if you give reasonable reason why you should not make use of that money for such purpose, and the the reason is genuine and reasonable enough. He listens to you. You go to a birthday party. Probably the school invited you. Or probably one of the uh, students in your school, they, maybe the parents are a little a bit okay financially. And they decided to throw a birthday for their daughter or their son in the school where your, school, your child is going. That becomes a challenge to you. The next section for the daughter's or your son next birthday must be sponsored by your husband in the same school. And you have already weighed the size of cake they do. You have to snap it. The kind of dress the boy or the child dress, you have to snap it. You have to go to the market and get something similar or something bigger. Whereas you don't know if the wife is responsible for such occasion, such package. But all of you, some of you ladies will feel everything that happens in the life of women and children are being sponsored by men. No. Some reasonable women out there pick bills to reduce tension from their husband, to ensure peace reign, to ensure love exists. Somebody, a man needs a focus, needs peace. To actually ex uh, exhibit love towards you. He need less tension and pressure. Yes, he's out there hustling to earn a living, to make a living, to pay her strength, probably to build his own personal house. But what he needs from you, your support, your prayer, your service, your reasonable talk, your encouragement, Oftentimes, say most women, most of us, we hardly appreciate. When they give to you, that is when you give thanks. When the money is not flowing, the person becomes a bad husband. Then he was honey. You are a baby, sweetie. What's up? Uh, uh, do you know, need, they, 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 uh, do you know teachers called me? They sent something on their platform that they have to come to school with uh uh with this or uh, with that and they, they have changed their snack they changed their lunch and they have to come with snacks now at least some one of the kids should be coming with uh apple and this and that madame you mean you can't have four snacks to your for your kid 
that you have to draw the attention of the man. Junior have to go to school. The, the kids have to go to school with snacks. You can't save money for snacks. And you cannot just make it as a breaking news to your husband. This is what they ask. I have done that. Where did you go? I went to the uh, 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 bus stop to get uh, to get uh, fruits for the kids because uh, I saw in the platform that they said they should bring, even if your husband is added to the platform. Have you for once surprised this man? Oliver Twist, you keep asking for. Every time you ask, have you ever given? Do you learn how to give? Bershit, do you know some of us as women? We don't even know how to change our bedsheets. We are still waiting for our husband to change our bedsheets. It is your duty, it's part of your role. This is just, we are just talking about the preliminary. I am going to go deeper. This is just the foundation. Do you know some of you? You will use one bed sheet. You have just two bed sheets. If they married you, maybe the bed sheet you came to that house with is the bed sheet that probably your cousin or whoever your friends gave to you as a gift. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. You will use just two bed sheets. Some of you use one. You will wash it, it will dry. You spread it in the night. Not that you can save. Save, you can buy bed sheet with the little you can save. You can buy okrika bed sheets. You must not go to, uh, to the market and buy bed sheet with wheat. Do you know you can buy okrika bed sheet first grade okrika? You buy it, you wash it. You can buy okrika 500 naira bed sheet. Your children will stay in at one bed sheet from some of you will be having. People be big, bulky, big post like this. You think it's a infection? It's not infection. It's a pillowcase that you hardly wash, you hardly change. You have sex with on it. You don't have sex with it on it. You sweat. You there. You don't sweat. It's there. Whether winter or well, not winter in Nigeria, cold or everything, as here hot as Nigeria, you will lie down with one bed sheet from from. Beginning of the week, the end of the week, is another week. You use one bed sheet for two three weeks. Some of you use only two bed sheets in the whole year. And do you know you can save fifty naira, fifty naira out of your service, and you can get more than four or more than bed sheet in a year. You don't have Christmas bed sheets. You don't have New Year bed sheets. Some of you, Valentine, you don't even know that there are bed sheets of Valentine bed sheets in the market. There are colors that you can put on your bed. Are they really expensive? Are these things really expensive? No. They are not expensive. You just don't want, you don't explore, you just want to sit down and call yourself that housewife without addition, without adding value to yourself. You must not have million to be respected by your husband. There are little, little things. Little, little touch in the house that you don't call attention of a man. He will come to the house and say, wow. Some of you at your toilet, you have never for one day buy common, as in common, uh, 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 um, um, what is it called? Uh, air freshener. Air freshener, they have drama, 100 naira, this and that. No. You go to the toilet, the toilet will be smelly. After you wash, some of you don't even wash your toilet with the target. You just want to wash over. You don't have, okay, let's say you are using area to wash it. You cannot take boiled hot water and pour on your toilet cover it that the, 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 this um, smell of a, uh, on where soap that you've been washing another toilet just like other toilets that they wash with normal water some of you women you just sit down you can't wash toilet you can't even live when you have children or you have you can't even wash by yourself and act them this is how they wash it wash it pour hot water your toilet should be poured hot water saying you boil water pour enough salt if you don't have normal uh, what is it called to uh, uh, have pick another toilet uh, disinfectant to wash that is 
boil hot water water should be boiling you pour salt and you have to pour that hot water cover your toilets and all the jams will die some of you have no idea under under your toilet under your toilet your wc do you see one one brandish something on that there and you as a woman you are told i told this person to wash it i don't even know what is wrong with the house how safe will you keep in your house in somebody's house Good. The housewife, house you quit in your house is somebody's housewife. So keep training the house help. Ah, she needs to wash toilets. She needs to wash the clothes. She needs to mop the ground. And from year to year, January, December, from January to December, some of you will sweep. Broom have never touched under your bed. You have never shipped your fridge, your fridge in your house. You have never shipped that is if you have it. And even if you don't have it, all manners of bones and all manners of nonsense will be there. From January, December, you don't have quarterly cleaner. You don't clean in your house. Even if you have people cleaning, you can't even for one day, take one day, this is quarterly cleaner. Clean up as in every three months, you sit down, you have to wash the clean up everything you have to shift your fridge you have to shift your bed under your bed cobwebs and all that you'll be dreaming you are eating in the dream you are doing those and all that it's cobwebs in your house nobody's pursuing you it is your duty a man will come from work cobwebs in the kitchen cobwebs even some of you will just see there's cobwebs all over your house you can't clean them you can't clean them you can learn how to iron your clothes as well. At least learn it. Let it have that you have the skill, but you have the money to pay. In the absence of not having the money, you can easily do that. I can iron my clothes. I can. I know how to iron my clothes. I can iron my husband's clothes. Possibly at times a dry cleaner will bring clothes, maybe where they put them in the wardrobe and not that the clothes squeeze. He doesn't, he don't know how to iron as a man. But they are win him. And I saw, yeah, oh boy, give me money. I want to iron your clothes for you. You want to go out now? You need iron. Your, your dry cleaner is not here. So I'm your dry cleaner this morning. And before you know, we are not taken by surprise. Possibly it's the clothes you want to wear for the event. Easily it could be that I also want to go for that event. And we're taking on our way. He don't know how to iron. What if you know how to iron? You are not there. You have an added value. You have added value already that you quickly iron the cloth. That is not slavery. It's part of life. It's part of the relationship. It's part of the courtship. It's part of the marriage. A man can miss you because of you know how to iron his clothes. A man can miss you because you know. Ah, he's this kind of person that he comes from work, he'll hang his cloth, his cloth will drop here, his trouser will be there. He's a careless man, but your duty, you are picking it. But some of you will say, I don't just understand. You will clean house, this man will just come to this house. This is a, as far as, as he just arrived, his bed will be on top of dining, his shoe will be on top of, uh, in front of the house. The other one, the trouser will be on top of one bed. What is your duty? You are a happy mate, my dear. He can miss you for that. Because when you travel one day and he scattered the whole house, probably you went to see your family and he arrived. The week, one week, two weeks, or two, the three days, four days, you are not at home. You find out that all his room is scattered. Because who is helping him to keep his things is no longer there, has traveled. 
Oh my God. Baby, where are you? When are you coming back? I bet come back now. I'm going to finish with your family. They come back. He might not be missing you for sex. He might be missing you for this, your little, little touch in the house as, a, as an organizer. Be an organizer. A woman is made to be an organizer. You organize things. Anything woman organizes is always perfect. When they organize party, is perfect. When they organize event, is perfect. When they organize house, is perfect. If they meet a woman that is an organizer in marriage, if you organize the marriage, it's okay. We men are not organizers. And when you turn yourself to become a man, you avoid your role. You avoid your duties. Then, the answer will be this complaint and this domestic violence. Do you know your husband go out and he sees all manners of headache and stress and dirty environment and all that? Madam, how much is can do? Some fragrance in the market you go, they are not actually expensive. Oh. It's just that you don't know what to do because you are not exploited. Because you are not, you just don't want to know something. You want to be contented with what you know. Wise up. Ask question. That question of where is my husband going? Who is he sleeping with? Which guy is he calling? That you are proposing inside phone and inside this and you are calling every all manners of people. Use that to learn something. Use that time to add value to yourself. Because what is valuable, what is a treasure, nobody would want to lose it. If you are a treasure in the life of any man, he would not want to lose you. But when you become a dependent, you become a liability, you become a headache. You can't call your husband and ask, how is work today? I hope you are doing well. How is your day going? Hope you are fine. Have you eaten? I'm hearing that you go, hello. Uh -huh. You first of all call. The man will keep for you. Keep quiet. You'll be quiet. You want to listen to background. Some of you will go to the extent of using unknown number, looking for a free number. You go and get a fresh SIM card without your husband knowing. You want to monitor him. Keep monitoring. Use your mouse and be browsing where he goes. If you wash your hands, you wash your bum bum with water, soap, and sponge. Don't forget that if you penetrate your hand inside your anus, that smell that you have washed and you are still searching for it inside your anus will come out. You still smell it and you smell it, that smell will still come out. Do you need it? No. What does not exist? Don't let it exist in your life. We are too engaged. Our attention is too giving to our husband, monitoring them left and right, front and back, instead of adding value to ourselves. Instead of making ourselves important, let him look for us. Let him be consigned. This my wife, I did this as nice as this lady. I would not want her to be taken advantage. I would not want anybody to take advantage of her. And the person will check on you. The man will look at you. A man will weigh you. He will like you. He will love you. Because you are an added value. Some of you, the day you born or the day you marry, you have to, once you are pronounced married woman. I don't I don't even know if my husband has seen me with uh, with, with rapper. I don't know. I don't know how to tie it. I've never even tied it. I don't tie it as in this rapper tying on your weight on your chest. At most I've ever done is I cross my rapper this way and tie it behind as a cross. I have never imagined a time I rapper this. But that is how some of you, you don't have nice gown. You only tie a rapper to bed. Whether you give bed, you did not give bed. You tie a rapper or nothing, you bath with water all over your body. Chakpa, chakpa, chakpa. You walk on the ground and this, you throw yourself on the bed as a woman. So irritating. 
you can't put roll up. Once you have pronounced marriage, that is the end time. You can't brush well again. You can't clean up your face. You can't clean anything. You just be moving here and there. After all, you're a married woman. Your movement, if you want to stand, some of you will stand. You know, some women don't even know how to stand. Some will stand. They will just do like this. Eh? Learn how to stand. It's part of your lifestyle. Stand dignified. Don't stand like this. You are just a bar. You will eat. Hello? Because you are married. Woman, no. Woman, woman. If your husband eats food, and it is your duty to tell your husband, honey, no, it's not good. And pick your teeth. You will be married, that man lifestyle will not change the way he eats in the public the way he talks in the public the way he drinks in the public the same way the man talk and not changing him it is your responsibility your role your duty to also add value to the man's character not with insults not to say see the way you are talking is that how other responsible men are talking no Baby, the way you told this today, uh, uh, funny, I uh, in fact, can I tell you how you talk? We joke when there is a nice time that you guys are discussing gist and love. You can talk the way you talk. Why are you picking your teeth like all these uh, village men now? Who are the village men? Everybody comes from the village. You originated from one village or the other. So you pick your teeth, you cover your teeth in the car. Don't let it get you to it. You pick your teeth. But you don't know that it's your role. So Mr. Beck, leave and I is there a small picking that will teach him how to pick it? You see a baby that will tell him in there he's not supposed to be using uh, a this thing I'll be drinking instead of glass. I met him like that. No. You have a role to play in the life of that man. You have to tell him you can't be drinking for plastic. Except probably you are in the vehicle and there is no, yeah, you are driving and you can drink your water because you are thirsty. But when you are in the office or you are in the house, drink from glass. Because even if your children see you drinking from the that is how they will also be drinking for plastic. But some of you don't know that it's your duty. You feel your duty is to give birth to children, uh, let mom provide, let them eat food, they wear clothes, and all that, they go to school. That is your duty. You are not creative. Some of you are not creative. Some of us who just stay, you just keep like this. You can't, we can't just stay and be creative. Copy and paste, copy and paste, copy and paste. Jeanette wear yellow, blue, and white. I wear yellow, blue, and white. You can't create anything yourself. You see your sister in law wear something you want to wear it. You see your married married mate wear it, you want to wear it. Competition. Be contented. Once you are contented with whatever you have. People will jealous you. Be contented with whatever you have. Make use of your income in a very reasonable and proper way. People will envy you. Some of you will give birth. After giving birth, your hands become Christian mother. And before you know, I saw him. I know your eyes is on that slim gate. Do you know you can be slim? You choose to be fat. The size you are, it is your decision. You choose to be that fat. If you want to be slim, you can be slim. It's determination. Your husband cannot force you to be slim. If you want to be slim, you can be slim. If you want to be fat, be fat. You can diet and be slim. You can exercise and be slim. 
and depends on your kind of bone. If you have a big bone, don't expect to be as slim as my size if your bone is big. You have little flesh covering your bone. So you cannot be as slim as me or be as slim as another person slimmer than me. It is your duty, your role to look good while you are making the man to look good. Well, just like I said, we are just starting is just the foundation. We are going to talk a lot the role of a woman. When we are done with the role of a woman, then we'll go to the role of a man. Each other's lives. That house here, you are asking to clean up your house is somebody's future husband's wife. And that is the reason why some of you, your husband, continue with the house when there is opportunity for him to take over. The herself will be the one to claim without you guiding the person because you don't know. Your herself will be the one to learn how to cook good soup because you don't know. Your herself will know how to serve the dinner on the table because you don't know. Your herself will be the one that you give your husband on this to wash because you don't know. Or you are for me, madam. Your nails will be as long as this. You cross your leg and be hey, and be doing TikTok. You watch the words. That has help that you keep that is doing all your duty that you can't touch one thing and you can't guide them on what to do. Is somebody switch your wife. And when such person is that such person that is used to hard working, cleaning house, cleaning environment, wash clothes, iron your clothes, take care of your kids, go there will make a better housewife than you. That is why some people don't even care if they marry the house compared to you because you are not productive. House you can't clean, variety soup you don't know. Some of you will cook fried rice. The fried rice spices will overshadow even the right fried rice itself. You'll be eating as if you are eating, you are eating Maggi. You will cook vegetable, leaf will separate from water. Oh yeah, will be on top of it. Is that the kind of vegetable the man cooks up, eat outside? Oh, variety. And time will come, we will still teach you how to cook vegetable soup with one thousand naira. Vegetable soup, and it will taste nice. So that day, some of you can come. While I cook it, you taste it. Ask them. I will ask you if it's sweet or not. I'll video it. What I'll be buying from market, I'll video it in, in your presence. I will buy it. I'll prepare it. Then those that will be present that day will test it. Test it and tell me the taste of the vegetable. Don't stay in your house without learning nothing. The same Android phone you are having, use it to learn something. Add value to yourself. We have lost so many good husbands to our negligence, to our claiming of unnecessary rights, to our overno, to our ignorance, to our sensitivity, and to claim subordinate superiority over our domestic workers. I do wash my car. I see it as part of exercise. Washing machine is there. Ties I wash my clothes. I wash my husband's clothes. At times, if I feel like, if the washing machine is not functioning, I do that. There are some clothes you don't give to the cleaner. They will damage it for you. I've used embassy dry cleaner that condemn my suits that I bought as big as embassy dry cleaner, as well known as they are. 
and some of you you will you as i wear this white this is white and possibly i put on there's no even without a, a makeup nigerian weather is too dusty that even if you drive as you step down you step in you are sitting down dust vehicles are passing and everything there is tendency that one dust or the other will stick to the clothes some of you do you know you pull off your white clothes you go and hang it down and and you wear it again as some of you your partner do that your husband do that your wife do that it is your responsibility as a wife as your husband pull that white cloth and he cannot wash it to avoid that clothes being damaged wash it at that moment. soak it immediately even if you cannot wash it immediately and there is hours there is a space of time that if you soak white instead of the the stain to go off the stain will first of all go off and come back and stick to it again because it has as the period in which you're supposed to wash the clothes, the stain have already stick back. So, in little summary of what I'm saying this night or this evening or this morning to so wherever any country or any part of the world you're watching it from. One, I'm leaving you with this word before we continue next time. As a woman, if you eventually cook every stress of the day manage to beat don't go to bed like that manage to take a bit right and there are what they call hair if you cannot afford it just teach it you don't, you don't know it what you don't know you don't know you are ignorant of it there are a hairspray little hairspray that you can spray on you can actually spray on your hair but it's advisable if you are going to teach it look for something to cover your hair outside from the hair picking some of the hair some of your hair dropping off from the cook you are cooking the food you are cooking which is not hygienic it's also good when you use something like uh, the, the your hair cap kitchen hair cap and all that it, it prevents your hair picking the aroma, the smell of your food, and not this to look and not that stockfish and not that to your head. That may eventually smell when you get away, and it's not it will, it's not pleasant. It will be pleasant for your partner to to to, to, to like uh, take that. Then notwithstanding, learn if you you are not going to salon often, use your hand to wash your hair. You can actually use other. Uh, to, uh, other um, uh, other tablet soap, not your body soap. There are tablet soap that, you, that are friendly to your hair that you can use it to wash your hair. You can shampoo your hair. Shampoo has gone too low that some are producing shampoo also in the market. Nigerian uh, produce shampoo. You can buy them. Maybe if you buy like 500 naira, it takes you months. Wash your hair on your own. Wash it, dry it. Just men normal. Then learn how to use your body spray or roll on, use it on your armpit, smell at, at least have a good smell while you are going to bed and sleep with your spouse. Then other tips that we need to learn how to bring our husband close to ourselves. We will talk about that. They, they, your role as a woman, one, must be supportive. Learn how to save. You can save as little as 50 naira. 15 naira is not the lowest money in Nigeria. You can save to there are 20 naira and 10 naira that save it. So whatever you can save, let it be that at the end of every month, at the end of every year, you save something. And once you save something, it's an added advantage to whatever you want to use the money for. Let to save from today. If you have washed, I just said it's something I know you're more than that. It could be network and all that. But as you share it, we share it to others. Let let us learn. Let wife learn. Let we 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 let us learn. Let's learn. Let rub minds together. Let's help ourselves stay in marriage. There are so many things and things that break up marriage these days. They are not too really major thing. Before it leads to major thing, it started from little thing. But if we are able to arrest the little little things, it will not aggravate to major thing that will lead to catastrophe. But we hardly we overlook it. We overlook like uh, this lady that uh, I interviewed this afternoon. 
which we have not heard from my husband. And I will sincerely, I will appreciate, and I will also be happy if I also hear. It will be always be my joy if I hear from both parties, because I don't derive joy listening to one person on social media and the other person did not uh, counter the allegation of the other one. Because you can, who knows her knows her husband. And from her statement, you will feel the man is evil, the man is dangerous, the man is barbaric and all that. But until you hear from the man, you like justify the whole statement, if it is true or not. I can't imagine that. Your husband stop you, ask you, don't associate with so-so good. You are his wife. Your diary was paid, though he did not buy you. But at least let us assume that it was an advice given to you by the police. I would not want to go into that church. I don't like it. Maybe from his own perspective. Yes, you are an adult. But why are we partner? Is to listen to ourselves. Why are we partner? Is to see reason with ourselves. Why are we partner? Is to enable us, is to like, we must. Consider other person's decision. And where are we partner? Is to have a definition of your superiority. A man in your life is your sheet, is your coverage, is your crown. We are not partners as in a business partner. Partner as two people stay together a company, a two company, just, just keeping the person, company and all that. But it's like we are defining this partner as equal rights. We are going to go into that. Then if you are a woman that from the beginning of the year to the end of the year, you are counting on how much did he give me? I have to change the shit. How much did he give me? I have to change cutting. How much did he give me? I have to even for what they put one flower or the other in the house. You are the one failing. It's not the man, right? And if the man is not giving to you directly, but is picking some responsibilities in the house, it is also your responsibility to pick some bills. You are not handicapped. You are not blind. Neither you are handicapped as in you are there. You are amputated. Your leg is cut off or your hand is cut off. You have your complete hand and your eyes complete. So why are you just the unfortunate? Can you just hold oh my goodness well we need to we, we, we need to proceed because i need to go home early right if i keep going on going on going on that i don't think we do it so please go and this period now that they are giving to you change your bed sheet to all those your your bed sheet that you are using from year to year Mother will just come every time and say the bed will not change, cutting will not change, room will not send to it. Even the whole place dirty everywhere, you can't clean. The children will mess the place you live in. If you pull your shoe, you bash ground, your sand, sand everywhere. Huh? No children that is uncontrollable. How you train them is how they become. There are children that if you look at them, once they look at their parents, their mom, mostly that always stay with them. They will find their way where to stay. You have some children that jump here and there. They don't know when visitor is around. They don't know where they're supposed to play. They don't. They don't have playground. Nothing. They will jump on bed and jump on bed. They play ball in the house and everything. How you train the children? Anyway, I want to appreciate every one of you that joined us to discuss this. What is your role as a wife? This is just the beginning. We are going somewhere. Okay, let me read a few comments before I say good night to some of you and good morning to you in another country. God bless you, ma. More grace to you, ma. How can I get to your contacts? Okay, Joy Joseph, uh, you can contact me on 080-330-24550. I repeat, 080-330-24550. Okay, never know ego right in marriage. People right in marriage. The man is an is on top before a woman. Man is under God, while woman is under her husband. Yes, you are right. Uh, a man was created by God, 
before God created the woman. So if you don't want to respect your husband from the angles that you feel is a man, you are both human beings. Respect the man that he come in existence first before you. There is no woman that ever come in existence before man. Man was created by God first before woman. So for that reason, every man see know you as a woman, irrespective of your age, right? We are going somewhere. We're not going to talk about that today. We'll talk about much, much of time. Okay. My, uh, Ezekiel Magdalene say, you're welcome. Welcome to my, mommy, but some of these men don't take correlation, correction. No. If you see some of this is the reason why I say at times we open line for physical discussion. We are going somewhere. When you say some of this man don't take correction, you will give an example. For instance, I give social reason, and this is how I put the correction. This is what he did, and this is how I put the correction. I will tell you how you put the correction or how you're supposed to put the correction. Men are naturally built with ego, right? Okay. Then Brown Sugar say, thank you so much. I have learned a lot. Brown Sugar, thank you, thank you, thank you for the compassion. God bless you. Um, uh, God bless you. God bless you, Matthew. Evelyn Anthony, thank you very much. You see, thank you for the advice. Thank you also. Okay, let me flash your thank you for the truth. I will. I will try that sort and boiling water method. Go ahead. It's work. It works a lot. Keys, a lot of jams, and you will see your toilet looking sparkly. Mostly when you use it with a high cold, it will come out very, very sparkly. It kills a lot of jam. Salt and hot water kill a lot of jam. Just cover, boil it. The water must be boiled and just boil it, not warm boil you to see it boiling take it straight to the pockets pour it to your your your, your wc pour enough salt cover it like an hour or more before you use it again even if you are having a you just you cannot have any okay you're amazing thank you very much Okay, Vera said, you are, but when you empower a wise woman, you empower a nation. Yes, a wise woman must prove herself wise. Wise in the sense that you cannot just claim to be wise when you want to be wise like a serpent. When you say the wise should be a woman of wisdom, not wise per se. There are different between wisdom and wise. You understand? Yeah, she, she's too wise too wise, too wise, exposure, which is full of wisdom. These are two different things. Yeah. The, uh, the compliments the man you are married to, to fulfill creation, to add value to the life of your partner. To compliment the man you are married to, to fulfill creation, to add value to the life. Thank you very much. This is a good definition also. Good morning, Nyala. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, Destiny, Emmanuel. Thank you, Destiny. Destiny, you are always there. Human Rights Commission, please, Ma. I need your attention. Just let me give you some highlights. We need to be sincere. We Nigerians and the youth, we are not happy with the words. Or the way these Chinese people are doing to us in our country, really things are going beyond our expectation. And no any government comes out to defend as the citizen of the of this NG NG Nigeria. Tears in our eyes every day by day. Okay, uh, Capello Voice Street. You can try, chat me on 08033024550. Let's hear your complaint and how we can uh, come in, please. Okay, please, thank you. I appreciate every one of you that are here. Please don't keep this, uh, don't keep this information to yourself. The only thing you can do is to share it. 
as to what just share it to a friend to you know, I believe you'll be happy uh if you benefit something good from here if others benefit as well so that we can rub mind together more again to bring happiness and joy to our home thank you